Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot and this is going to be a general collective reading. So this is going to be a choose a pile reading. This is the new moon in Aries. I have uploaded um, the study time of new moon in Aries. I really strongly suggest you guys watch that, okay? Especially if you just need a little bit of an oomph. All right, with this new moon because it's a big one. All right, so we're going to go with choosing some colors. Let's start. I don't know why. All right, so let's see. Part one. So we're going to see what messages. Oh, okay. What messages do we have for you guys, okay? For this new moon in Aries. What do your spirit guides want you to know? All right, so part one, you've got lilac. Part two, you've got emerald and ruby. Greedy. And part one, you've got white. Okay. So we are going to start with part one. Okay, so part one, these are your messages for the new moon in Aries, what to expect, what's going down. And we've got strengthen your faith. All right, so maybe you guys have a, a, a practice or religion or whatever, and you're kind of just losing your way a little bit. Realign that. If it's not, they want you to strengthen your faith within yourself, okay? So have that color lavender around you to help you with that. And look, we've got don't let pride get in the way. That is a full moon in Leo. And one of these. We've got big happy changes, part one. New moon in Aries, don't let pride get in the way. Big, happy changes. All right, so... Just thinking what I want to do, because I didn't think about it before. But you know me, I like to go with the flow. All right, part one, let's take a little look and see. We've got the warrior here. Mm -hmm. You'll find that warrior within you and that individuality, okay? So this is about doing you. Say it loud, okay? This is about expressing yourself, being unique, okay? And, you know, not really giving a damn what people think about you. And... Okay, let's see. You are a creative, beautiful, light being, whether you are male or female, okay? And you have so much potential inside you, okay? You just kind of need to be careful that, you know, you might be thinking some things are beneath you right now. Try not to really have that attitude, okay? Yeah, because spirit's got a strategy. So you don't want to, like, miss your blessings because, you know, what's for you will always be for you, but you might go around in circles and years until you finally get it, until you change certain things about yourself or the way you think, all right? So I definitely feel like spirit has this plan and you're being guided to this greater this greater plan, okay, that, yeah, the universe has for you. Uh, let's do a bit of tarot. Let's go. Let's see what's going on, part one. A new moon in Aries, not going to resonate with everyone. Check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And Venus. Yes, we've got the high priest. And we've got the four of swords. Five of wands. And we've got page of wands. So yeah, I even feel like for some of you, you know, this could also be relating to somebody who, you know, you're not with right now. You're either in separation with or it's over. There's probably still some, you know, arguments and things going on. Maybe there's families, there's friends involved and things like that. I really feel like they're saying just follow your intuition, stay attuned to your highest good. Okay, stick to the plan. All right, because there are going to be things that are coming in to kind of knock you off of that. All right, and they're like, don't let it. Because I feel like for you guys, someone's riding back into your life as if nothing ever happened. We've got journey. High honor. 
and pathway. There is a new pathway opening up. I really do feel like there's someone that's like galloping towards you, okay? Someone who's like really cute, funny, um, cheeky, you know, and uh, just, I think it's just gonna bring this burst of positive energy into your life. Listen, and I also wanna say, sometimes not everyone is there to stay, okay? Sometimes people come into your life to just give you something that you needed at that time, okay? Maybe they are here to stay, but I'm just saying, you know, if they're, if they're not someone who is around or likes to stick around, it's okay to let that person go and almost be grateful that they came in at the time that they did because that's what you needed, all right? Yes, we've got unexpected income and we've got this main male, all right? That's gonna be messaging you, coming towards you. Yes, part one. So really take care of your health. Okay, if you guys are feeling a little bit depressed or a bit sad or a bit low, what can you do to bring yourself out of that? For a lot of you, it's probably your passions that you're aligned with. It's probably your hobbies. It's probably your friends, your family. So try not to just sort of be small and reduce your life in any way, okay? But you do have some uh, unexpected money coming towards you as well. That should cheer you up. <laughs> All right, um, so let's one so in this reading we have aries leo sag and we've got pisces here and we've got power a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it so if this person isn't right here right now they're literally about to step into your life okay so while you're fussing and fighting about your ex and all the rest of it like let that go okay and welcome some new energy to come in your life all right you're gonna have some fun not so bad. You're going to be all right. Uh, Shall I pull you one of these? Why not? Oh, where's the book? There it is. All right, part one. Let's just get you one final message. All right, my lovelies. Treasure Island. <laughs> I like this for you. Okay. So... The law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the results of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. Let's go to prosperity. At this time, you could be confident that success is yours. Your ideas are all hitting the mark and you're in a true manifestation period when you will see evidence of the seeds of prosperity you planted in the past. The appearance of this card in a reading indicates that your dreams and aspirations align with a concrete science of prosperity in the world of form. This is a very auspicious and fortunate time for business. Creative projects will flourish as inspiration strikes. Share your wealth with others too. Generosity and gratitude shall lead you now. I love this for you, part one. I'm really excited for you. Like, so excited for you, part one. Okay, you deserve the best. And I feel like you've got such good hearts. Like, if you eat, everybody eats, you know? And I think that is amazing. It's not like you're trying to create this wealth and not share it with your friends or your family or anything like that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that reading, part one. We're gonna move on to part two. <laughs> We've got ruby and emerald, okay? Yes. So we've got emerald, calm your mind, body, and soul. Okay, so again, that is just connecting with um, your higher self, your spirit guides, your angels, God, whatever or whoever you believe in. And we've got rejuvenate your body, all right? So we've got to take care of the shell, you know? <laughs> we've, we've got to make sure we look after ourselves. So... You know, if, if it's that you feel like you should be working out, you want to release tension in your body, maybe you want to purify your body, you know, in terms of what you put in, maybe you're battling or beating some addictions and things like that. They're saying, look, this is a good time to put those things into place, okay? And these colours are going to be really amazing for you to have around you as much as you can. Wear them, have the crystals, you know, whatever it means to you, my loves. Okay, so let's look pile two. Let's see, your new moon in 
airy messages. We've got nothing will come of this situation. All right, so if you're holding on to someone that you shouldn't be, I'm sorry, they're saying you really need to let this person go. All right, they're not filling any voids in your life at all. Okay, maybe they fill a void occasionally when you're with them or whatever, but... So they're saying no. <laughs> yeah. They're really saying get away from this person, get away from this situation immediately. But they want you to remain positive. All is not lost. Okay? And, and, and I always say this to people. We always feel like, because we have these special one-off connections with people, they are not the only people in the universe to love you or that can love you. And it's almost like by saying only that one person can, you're really limiting yourself, okay? And the love that you could actually really create with somebody else, you know? All right, so let's take a look. Pile two, new moon in Aries. Remember, we've got another new moon as well. So this is, you know, it's a double whammy, guys. Yeah, see, we've got summon. Summon up that strength, summon up that courage, summon up that light within yourself. Okay, to see that this is a dark situation, okay? And you are somebody who are, I feel like a lot of you here are light workers. And the problem with that is that, you know, we are healers, but it ain't your responsibility to heal those people. You know that because you've had to do your own human revolution. So you've got to take that into consideration and know when to walk away. We've got high priestess of air. So I'm saying you guys are extremely spiritual. You're very creative. All right, so we've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here, and we've got focus, yeah? So I think that whoever this person is, they do kind of take away your ability to stay on track with the things that you want to do. So like I said, this is a very powerful couple of months that we're going to be in. And if you were really trying to channel anything or manifest anything, now is the time. What needs to be removed? Feel free to check out my um, New Moon in Aries uh, study time. Okay, because it's kind of talking about this as well. So I feel like it might actually help you. But there's, a, there's also some shadow work in there that I've included as well. Right, so let's take a look. Part two. Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. I know people like ten, ten. For me, I always find ten, ten is like... You go through something, ah, oh, traumatic, terrible, oh my God, like you're in pain, you're suffering. You don't see that there is something better that is coming along because it's just so destroying the ending that you're feeling, okay? And even only burdens as well that you've been carrying. But then with this 10 of pentacles, it's just like, let that go so we can give you this, okay? We can give you more money. We can give you um, a better foundation. Okay, and we can make you more solid. So you are in the hangman position right now. And it's just about changing how you're viewing everything and how you're viewing your future as well. All right. And, you know, maybe for a lot of you, it could be that you feel quite negative a lot because of what you've been through. And maybe it's one thing after another. Like, trust me, I know. But this is why as well, for some of you, if you've been pushing yourselves to work out, really do that. I mean, anything that you can kind of do to give yourself some type of positivity before you start your day, middle of your day, end of the day. They're saying, look, you really need to do that. Do you need to get into some form of meditation? Is it yoga? What is it? Find it, okay? Because the thing is, only you can get yourself out of this and only you can move forward with positivity. We've got death. So I really feel like for some of you, you're gonna be creating this cause to end this situation or this situation is just gonna kind of come to an end by itself. All right, but they're saying, let this death happen, okay, because there is going to be a rebirth, and you are that rebirth. You've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you've got Scorpio here as well. So this is about summoning up this strength, and the thing is, I know you guys have it, because you've got yourselves out of worse. You've gotten over worse. You've led yourself to victory before. I know, because they're telling me. So you can do this. Coughing, death again. Yeah, they're saying this has got to go. All right, this has got to stop. It's got to end. And it's affecting your health. It's affecting your mental health. And you've got this expectation as well. And that's the thing. I feel like you guys want this, this security, this family, this protection. 
you know, and um, you're really not going to find it with this person. And I really feel like deep down, you guys do know that. But now you're going to be laying new solid foundations, okay, that you're going to lay by yourself. And I think that's amazing. Oh, I didn't get to read. I'm sorry, part one, but I'm going to read these for part two, my bad. Not this one, the other one. I didn't want to pick it up. Okay, we've got look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And then you've got time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. For some of you, you know, it's maybe you're feeling like a relationship is the be all and the end all. Like, I don't want to be alone. I just want to be loved. And you're forcing wrong situations. You're allowing these situations in or these people in to just kind of keep triggering you and adding, you know, to your burdens that you're already carrying around. And so they're saying connect to spirit because if you connect to us, you will always feel that we love you. You will always know that we are there. If we want to ignore us, that's okay. You've got free will. You'll do what you're going to do, but we are here. And they really just need you to plug in. It doesn't matter if you feel like I'm not really spiritual. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? You know, even I always say to people, create your own spiritual practice. It's got nothing to do with anyone else nothing to do with anyone else okay so whatever you feel is connecting you to your higher self then you do it all right whether that's for music whatever you got this um i know part one i didn't read you these but my bad you had a great reading anyway so let's hit part two up with this And if you stay focused now, this money that you're trying to get or trying to save or trying to achieve, it's going to come. <laughs> Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. All right. So maybe you're just going to be connecting back with your, your inner child. OK, and then maybe that means also friends you grew up with, people you went to school, you might just be bumping into them or they might be reaching out to you on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying hard to please others. And that's why they're saying, let your angels in. Tell us what you need. Okay, let us help you with that. Right, I'm going to pull you a bit of guidance here. How to? Time for a nap. You're tired, guys probably not sleeping well I think this situation's probably weighing so heavy on your heart and I think you guys are working so hard as well and you're just not fully looking after you and you know you got to do that so we've got rest rejuvenation and renewal temporary non-action allowing dreams to rise let's have a look I'm gonna go into protection for you for some reason you are a human being, not a human doing. It is possible you're suffering from workaholism. Could you be the one who thinks it's your job to save everyone, to be there for everyone, and to go, 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 until you can barely see straight? You've gone as far as you can. You've worked hard and nourished people and projects, but now you are an empty well that has no reserves for others or for yourself. Don't let your ego keep you um, going full speed when your body and spirit need rest. Exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're doing altogether and take a break. If you don't, the appearance of this card could portend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. You will feel like a new person if you take the break. Do it now. All right, so you guys are going hard. You got your eye on the prize, but they're saying, look, it's too much, okay? You've done an amazing, in fact, an incredible job. And now it's time to calm your, your mind, body, and soul, and it's time to rejuvenate your body, okay? All right, pile two. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm gonna move on to pile three. All right, pile three. We've got whites. Lighten up, man. They're saying lighten up. Okay, they need you to lighten up with the color white. Okay, let's see. You know, also create a lot of light in your home, open your windows, you know, make sure you're not kind of being a recluse and hiding away. Your commitment is being tested. Okay, and... My 
podcast covering the microphone. We've got yes and we've got opportunity part three. Ah, sorry, it was so exciting for you. I love when I see good things for you guys, you know? It makes me feel happy. It's like, yeah. It's like a sigh of relief coming your way, guys, where you can just go, ah, all right, let me sleep, let me rest, let me take this break, like it's okay. Right, new moon in Aries, yeah, it's that confidence. All right, you gotta move forward with confidence, pride in yourself, pride in what you're doing, okay? Because see, some of you could feel like you're invisible. You feel like maybe you're on the outside looking in or no one can see you. You know, no one can see what you're trying to achieve. Nobody's supporting your journey. You just probably feel like you're working so hard and no one's stepping in to say, hey, take this opportunity right here. You deserve this. Like you put in a lot of work or you do this or blah, blah, blah. So you feel invisible, but you are not. You are totally not invisible right now. We've got obedience. Yes, see, this is you. You're just sticking to it, all right? You're focused. <laughs> I love this about you. But now they're saying, lighten up. Okay, we get it. We get it. Work hard, work hard. Now play hard a little bit. All right, let's, let's bring some of that into it. Okay, so we've got Leo and Libra energy here. All right, pile three, new moon in Aries. Let's take a look, me lovelies. Got page of cups. Nine of Wands, Strength, and we've got Four of Swords. Oh, and another one came out. You've got Two of Swords. Yeah, I just think you guys are just blinded on your path. So I feel like whatever it is that you guys are doing, you probably don't necessarily have an actual plan because maybe what you're doing, it, it, you kind of can't have one because you're just following what you your gift or you're following what you're guided to do or you're just following your intuition. So it kind of feels like, am I making the right choice? Am I doing the right thing? They're like, they just need you to own it, okay? Because there is, um, I feel like you have moments of joy, but you just don't have enough. I feel like even a little bit like pile two, you kind of need to just have a little bit of a rest, yeah? I definitely feel like there's situations that are coming to you, pile three, over the next month or so where people just want to come for you, okay? Um, but you will have your guard up, all right? And they don't want you to allow these negative things that people say or do to penetrate, okay? Whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, all right? You need to just be strong and face everything head on because you will be able to do that, all right? And I definitely feel like there's a period here where you're regrouping and you're coming out of that. So maybe even in that time, there's been a bit of negativity or, you know, some some negative self-fulfilling prophecies has kind of slipped in and it's like saying, okay, it's got to go. I know what path I want to go down and I feel like it's being aligned for you. And so the universe is literally just going to hand this to you and say, okay, here, here. We've got Leo energy here as well. Yeah, see, there's this despair. It's got to go. Guys, you're doing amazing. You know, it's hard when you work so hard and you feel like no one's noticing you know or you're not really getting the opportunities that maybe other people would have gotten for other reasons so it's like you feel this lack of you know worth and it's like it's, it's taken away from your confidence and they're like no we need it back again all piles focus on your health get rest your mental health because you've got great fortune and so when god says it's time to go with this fortune you're going to be 100 miles per hour so you're going to need to take this time to have a little bit of a break Okay. Oh, and we got this main male coming towards you. And I definitely feel like this is someone from the past. All right. I feel like this person's coming back. Someone is heavily watching you on social media, watching your pictures, videos, whatever it is. Okay. They are studying you. And we have a message. So, yeah, there's going to be people reaching out. We've got journey and we've got that unexpected income. So some of you could be traveling soon. Look at that child new start. Okay, because there's a new work opportunity coming your way. All right, so don't be despaired. Okay, 
you're truly gifted, you're truly amazing, and your spirit guides and angels see everything that you're doing up there, and they just want you to keep that hope alive, okay? Keep it alive. All right, let's get you some heart messages. Let's see. All right, so lighten up a little bit. All right, go and have some fun. <laughs> All right, connect to your light source even, if that's what it is. You know, I just recently connected back with my Buddhist group and it was just like, yeah, I just need to realign my faith again and, and get myself sturdy and strong. And so maybe you're kind of feeling the same way. Is it a practice you had that you kind of need to, you know, uh, go back to, to kind of help you? Just do that. We've got my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united for love transcends, transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. I definitely feel like someone's being kept away from you. I really don't feel like they're in another relationship with anyone. I just think that it, it could be their lifestyle, their life choices, things like that. But this person really does connect to you. And, and as soon as they can come towards you, they're coming. We've got balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. All right, and I feel like that's maybe what you might need to do with your masculine or feminine coming into your life is challenge them a little bit in terms of, you know, their life goals, their purpose, what they're doing. All right, uh, let's read you some guidance. How three new moon in Aries. Also, guys, check out the study time I did with the new moon in Aries. It will be really good and beneficial to help you as well. We've got clean up. We've got clean up, pile three. Clean up in aisle three. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Sorry. Okay. Let's just find the card. Yeah. Okay. Uh, get into the core of a situation. Freedom from a burden. Cleaning house. Sweeping away what is no longer needed. And I'm going to go to prosperity for you for this one. Simple things like opening your mail, paying bills, sorting out your timetable, making lists and getting organized is what this symbol means when it comes to your work. Make time for yourself too. This card is a sign you may be overburdened and overwhelmed. It's okay to say no. You'll prosper even more if you do. Oh, guys. Right, let me get you one of these, pile three. Because I'm hearing you're the GOAT, okay? I'm hearing you're the GOAT, Pal 3. You need to go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative forks creates uh, self-fulfilling prophecies. And we've got everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the new opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. And then we've got material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving and receiving with a grateful heart. So you just stay your kind, compassionate, lovely self. Okay. And But just remember, especially because in my Buddhist practice, this is what they teach us. You have to give to yourself first. There's no way you're going to be able to go out there, support other people's lives, be this light if you're not okay within yourself, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not respecting your life first, okay? Very important. But guys, I've really enjoyed this reading. Take care. I love you so much. Um, keep going. I'm rooting for you and your spirit guides are too. All right, take care. Bye.